with meteorologist Kyle Dickens. Well, yeah, after that crazy week we had weather-wise, mostly with the temperatures, it is a very well-deserved break that we're receiving here and really across the country because we weren't the only ones that, uh, that have been in that extreme heat down to the south, areas like Shreveport, Louisiana, one that hit several records, all-time records, in fact. Uh, they're recovering a little bit, too. The problem is, <laughs> unfortunately, on the horizon, We've got a little bit uh, more to come of some of that heat. We'll talk about that here in a second. But the big thing, uh, nothing to show on exact track here over the next several hours to several days. A few clouds, that's all we're tracking with that uh, limited cloud cover tonight. It's going to allow us to drop that temperature. I, I think I'm going to lower our low a little bit. Uh, as we've talked about that radiational cooling, you don't get that cloud cover to act as a blanket. And with it not being that hot today, uh, it quickly cools down. Tomorrow, though, very pleasant day, mostly sunny skies. Notice that right there, that little bit of activity that moves through. That's a very weak front. There's not going to be much moisture for that to work with, so I don't see us getting much in the way of rainfall, unfortunately. But if we do, I think areas to the east of the river will be favored for a very isolated shower come Monday night into Tuesday. Once that clears out, though, a northerly wind, much cooler behind it, in fact, might have a hard time getting out of the mid 70s for our highs come Wednesday for tonight, though. Again, temperatures drop Look at that 50, even some areas I would say lower lying areas and out to the west there. Look at that tumble 49 degrees, not out of the question that some areas like Princeton 49 degrees by 6 a.m. Yeah, you'll have to head out to uh, work or school tomorrow with a jacket on light jacket, but you'll be taking that off because we'll hide up to the 80s. So beautiful dry and dry in the sense of not just weather wise and precipitation wise, but uh, no humidity to be found. So here we go. Tuesday 8 a.m. Look at that a little bit better 70 degrees and a little bit closer to what we're typically seeing for this time of year in our mornings, but things are changing uh, as we head throughout the middle of the week. Everything's fine. You can see that heat dome well to the south. Those reds uh, that is 90 degrees and it slowly goes up 90 to 95 and then the pink is uh, representing 100 jet stream though. You'll see this kind of oscillate. Once we get to Saturday, it starts to bump up, and now we get closer. There we are into the 90s come Sunday. So not going to be as strong of a heat dome as what we saw this past week. Here's another thing, too. It's not good. It's a good thing, but not good. We're not tracking any humidity. There is no moisture getting pumped up uh, from this the way it's setting up. So with that, with the low amounts of moisture, we're not going to see any rainfall chances, but also once we get into those 90 degrees, we're not going to see the 120 degree heat indexes that we saw last week. All the way through September 7th, this model and unfortunately a lot of models picking up on nothing for rainfall. There really doesn't seem to be uh, right now, at least a way for us to get rainfall with that low moisture and with the setup that we are going to be in kind of for a longer period of time. I'm not seeing any chances of rain west of the river. That is a big concern because we continue to be in that severe drought. I could see us in some areas here that are currently in that severe drought. Mount Pleasant uh, over towards Muscatine, Iowa City. I I'd say by next week we'll probably see a lot more red and maybe some more expansion to the east as well. That is a concern now. Here in that red, that's right now what models are pinning for that uh, little heat wave there. But check this out. All models are trending once we get to the end of this heat wave, that, that period of time past the 10 day outlook, looking like we might actually be well below average on our temperatures. Nothing for rainfall, unfortunately. Very dry conditions. Temperatures tonight again, cool. 53 degrees, I think, will drop to. But. Again, beautiful weather. Look at that 76 on Wednesday, but then we start cranking that heat 92 by Saturday 90s throughout next weekend. A Florida couple trekked across.